So you want to get a microphone for uh, YouTube usage or something similar. You're doing voiceovers, you're doing streaming, whatever. You're doing some type of content creation and you want to up your audio quality gain. Audio, uh, audio quality game. But uh, you go online and you search. There's all types of microphones at all types of different price points. And one of the things is there's a dynamic microphone. So this is a Shure MV7 that I personally use that I bought myself. And then there's condenser microphones from Blue Yeti. This particular one is a TZ Audio Stellar X3 that they uh, subsidized my purchase of to uh, use in this video. So what people say online is that if you're in an untreated room, so you don't have things that block echoes, reflections, ambient noise, you want to use a dynamic microphone because it picks up less uh, ambient noise because the, the microphone pattern where it can pick up sound is smaller. These two microphones actually have the same uh, polar pattern though. It's called a cardioid, meaning essentially that it only picks up sound uh, in front of the microphone and rejects sound behind the microphone. So you'd be talking to it like this, you'd pick up a lot of sound. If you were talking to the back, uh, you wouldn't pick up as much sound. It would be uh, much more quiet. And obviously same with this, there's only really one way to speak into this uh, in general. So I'm gonna put that to the test today because in an unscientific manner, I'm gonna use it in my untreated room. All my rooms are untreated for sound and play different levels of ambient noise, different types of ambient noise in the room, outside of the room, and see how each microphone picks it up in a real world environment to see if it makes really any true difference uh, for majority of the use cases, not like uh, studio or professional recording uh, uh, scenarios. So let's get to that and I'll go straight to the clips and I'll be comparing each microphone back to back in each of the same scenarios and let you hear for yourself if you can pick up the differences. So let's go over the test setup real quick. I have the sh both microphones connected to a Zoom H6 recorder using the Phantom Audio uh, power. Behind me in this room, I have a fan that I'll use to create some ambient noise. As you can see, the room is untreated. There is my studio setup. On the far end of the table to the side of the microphone, I'm going to have a phone playing just some random audio to simulate someone using the phone. And then Across the room, through an open hallway with the doors open, I'll have dialogue playing on my home theater setup to simulate people talking just outside the recording area. And that's it. This is a sound check of the TZ Audio Stellar X3 in an untreated room with no uh, known background noise, so very quiet ambient sound. So how does it sound to you? Do you hear anything in the background? How does the voice quality sound? Is it... Does it sound rich? Does it sound full? Does it sound clear? Can you hear any HVAC or little fans or vibrations in the background? Uh, let me know. This is a test of the Shure MB7 uh, dynamic microphone in a quiet room. So there's no artificial ambient noise uh, being generated besides, you know, um, HVAC system, things I can't control. So it should be pretty quiet noise floor. How does the noise floor sound compared to the condenser microphone from uh, TZ Audio? Does it seem any quieter to you? This is a test of the condenser microphone. I have a cell phone kind of playing to the side of the cardioid pattern in the room at a medium volume to simulate someone on TikTok or taking a call. Let me know how you can hear it. Is it loud? Does the microphone pick it up at all? Or is it pretty faint? I'm not sure. I guess we'll have to see when I review the videotape. This is a test of the dynamic microphone with a cell phone playing some music uh, in the same room, but uh, to the side of the polar pattern of the microphone to simulate someone, you know, on their phone watching a YouTube video or TikTok in the area. Can you hear the phone? How loud is it? Uh, how does it compare to the condenser microphone for the same test? This is a test of the condenser microphone with a fan running directly kind of behind me. So it's within the, the direction of the cardioid pattern. Let me know if you can hear it from the background, if it picks it up. Uh, we'll see how sensitive it is to background noise. 
The fan is on medium and it's kind of blowing towards my back right now. This is a test of the dynamic microphone with a fan uh, running at medium speed directly behind me in the background to simulate kind of loud ambient noise. Uh, it is pointed towards the direction of the microphone polar pattern just like for the uh, condenser microphone. Can you hear the fan? How loud is it? Uh, how well does or not well does the uh, dynamic microphone pick it up? This is a test of the condenser microphone with dialogue playing on the TV in an adjacent room. This is kind of to simulate someone having a conversation just outside the area which you're recording and see if it picks it up. From my ear, I can make out the conversation uh, pretty clearly. It's about that loud. I would say it's about 15 feet away uh, through an open hallway. So there's no doors or barriers between the microphone and the, uh, the source of the talking. It is also behind the cardioid pattern, so I expect it to not pick up much, if any, of the conversation. This is a test of the Shure MB7 uh, dynamic microphone with uh, dialogue playing in a adjacent room on the TV to simulate someone talking. As before with the uh, condenser microphone test, I can hear the dialogue clearly, but I don't know if the microphone will actually pick it up or not. Can you hear it? So after re-watching the clips of the different ambient noise tests, I honestly couldn't tell a huge amount of difference between the condenser mic and the dynamic microphone. Uh, I think what's more important is that they both have a cardioid or hypercardioid pattern such that you're not getting sound from all around the microphone, which would make uh, the ambient noise pickup probably a lot more sensitive. Uh, specifically, for the fan test, I could hear the fan if I jacked up the volume of the, the playback uh, somewhat significantly. I could hear it on both the dynamic and the condenser microphone to the same extent once I normalized the volume recorded from both. And same with the cell phone. I could faintly hear it in the background uh, when it was off to the side of the cardioid pattern on both uh, microphones and to the, about the same extent from just from my ear meter. Now for the conversation in the adjacent room, I could not really make it out from either microphone and that's because it was behind the cardioid pattern. It was behind the microphone. And since both only pick up, mostly pick up sound only from the front, I, yeah, I didn't hear anything from either. So I think what's more important, as I just said, is the polar pattern is appropriate for the type of video, type of recording that you're doing. If you want to be able to isolate out ambient noise, you obviously want something that's more directional so you can focus the sound that you want to record into the microphone and reject everything else. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it, found it insightful or entertaining. I'm Tech Attic. I hope you subscribe and like the channel if you like this video. And I'm signing out again. Thanks.